Hi, I'm Valerie Bertinelli, and today we're making five ingredient shrimp risotto. You will not believe how delicious and complex just five ingredients can become. We're gonna use the shrimp shells to make a quick stock and then finish off the creamy risotto with shrimp, lemon, and arugula. It is a showstopper, you guys, and fancy enough for entertaining. So if you are cooking along with me, go ahead and peel and devein one pound of large shell-on shrimp. Reserve all those shells and the tails. Also, go ahead and squeeze a half a cup of lemon juice. All right, let's get cooking. We've got three of the six garlic cloves. The other three cloves are gonna get used in the risotto. And we're making our own stock because seafood stock is quite expensive. And you can make your own seafood stock with the shell. I mean, with lobster bisque, you do it with the shell of the lobster. With this, you're doing it with the shells from the shrimp. So I wanna just give this a nice big smash because I wanna open up the garlic so it really infuses just plain water that we're putting in there. This is the easiest way to get garlic infused into whatever you're making. Just smash it up. It's also the easiest way to peel it by smashing it. Okay. So our garlic cloves are in. Now we need a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt first. So we're gonna do a full teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now we need some liquid to build the stock. Water, seven cups. Fill it right up. And all it's gonna take is 20 minutes to have a beautiful, flavorful broth. Right in. Okay, bring that up to a nice, beautiful simmer and meet me back here in 20 minutes and we'll continue making the dish. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so your shrimp stock should be looking really beautiful by now. Reduced down about two cups or a cup, actually. We'll see how much. Nice pink shell. So we're gonna now strain that. Get a big strainer, put it over the same bowl that you poured your water in with. You wanna get everything out because you're gonna to continue to use this pot. You're gonna pour your stock back in. You wanna keep your stock warm. Okay, oh, this smells so good. Let me just get my glasses out and see if it is six cups. It actually does need a touch of water because we want six cups to build the risotto. So we're gonna put about a cup or a half a cup in here until it comes to six cups. A little bit more. It really reduced down nicely. That's good, lots of flavor. Let's get it back on the heat. Time to go get the shrimp. So we wanna get this pan heated up with a little bit of olive oil. Let's get the heat on. We're gonna saute the shrimp. So while this heats up, let's chop the shrimp up into little bite-sized pieces. Depending on how big the shrimp is, you can go half, that's a nice size. Or if you want to go in thirds, you can also go in thirds. It's really up to you. What is bite size to you? <laughs> Remember when the shrimp cooks, it will shrink up just a tiny bit. This is a bigger one, so I'm gonna cut it into thirds. And we're just getting them into fairly even pieces. We want them to cook up evenly. Some of them just get a half, some of them get a third. So 
So what we're gonna do is we're going to saute the shrimp until it gets pink and take it out just right before it's done because you don't want overdone shrimp. It's so beautiful and so tender when it's just perfectly cooked. And once you overcook it, it tends to not be so tender and lovely. So we're gonna take it out a little bit before it's done because then it's gonna to continue to cook as it waits in the plate for me to build, or for us, to build the risotto. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we're gonna get the shrimp right in here, and then I'm gonna wash my hands, and then I'm gonna get some salt and pepper on there. Okay. Let's scooch this shrimp around so every piece hits the heat. It's only on medium high heat. You don't wanna blast it. It's already starting to turn pink, so let's get some seasoning on there. A Little bit of salt. And some pep. I'm gonna move that around a little bit. Look at that, it's already getting this beautiful pink color on the side that hits the heat. I love that about shrimp, it lets you know when it's done. Okay, so while the shrimp sauteés just a little bit, we're gonna start getting our garlic cloves together. So we already used three of them in the stock, now we're gonna use three more and slice them up. Just get that rough root out. And I'm not smashing them too hard because I do wanna slice them up and I really wanna have some nice pieces of garlic in there. So try not to smash them as roughly as you did for the stock. You want them to keep some of their shape. But you do wanna get that skin off and it ain't easy sometimes. Like this one's giving me a little trouble already. but I have never let garlic get the best of me and don't you let it get the best of you either. I will win. <laughs> okay, so let's slice that guy up. Wait, you know what? Move your shrimp around, make sure you don't overcook it. I'm gonna get every side just love this. It's like you can tell which side is cooked by how pink it is. Move around, there we go. Flip over, okay, I'm gonna flip that guy over too. And this guy. Sometimes you just gotta get in them and flip them over individually. Just gotta get in there. Okay. Slice up your garlic. I like leaving nice big slices in there. I really want the texture of the garlic. I want to bite into it. I want all that flavor. It's gonna get sauteed in the olive oil, so it's gonna taste really good. Really, really, really good. I love garlic sauteed in olive oil. I mean, your whole kitchen smells amazing. Okay, all our garlic is sliced. Let's give the shrimp another quick turn around the pan. Now I want you to see this. You see how it doesn't quite look like it's cooked through yet? You can really, it shows you the way, what it needs. And just when it starts to get overall all pink, that's when you pull it out. This is almost there. Here's another one that's almost there. Same, but they're getting there. Like this one is done. See how that's all white and beautiful? Most of these guys are done. And I have faith that when I pull all of them out, they're gonna be lumped together the rest of them will cook all the way through. And then they're gonna go into the hot risotto, so that will finish it off. 
Let's get the shrimp out. going to put these on the back counter. Okay, let's get some more olive oil in our pan so we can saute the garlic. flavor is in there. So it's almost time for our rice. Let's get this to a little bit of a lower heat. Oh, it smells so good in here. Garlic sauteing in olive oil. I mean, okay, time to toast up the rice. I'm going to gather the uh, all that on the side. I don't want my garlic to burn. So you want a cup and a half of your arborio rice. Arborio. And the nice thing about arborio rice is as you mix it around and, um, cause you know, usually you don't stir rice. You just put it into a pot with some water or some chicken stock or whatever flavor you want in there. And then you let it do its thing. Now with arborio, it's got nice, it's got all this starch, so when you really turn it with some, when you really like mix it with, with liquid, it really releases all that great starch, and that's what gives you creamy risotto. So now we're just getting a little bit of toast on the rice with all that garlic, and it smells ridiculous in here. I'm sure you guys are enjoying the aroma in your own home if you're cooking along with me. So. The first liquid we're gonna put in, because I really want this nice tangy lemony flavor in here, that half a cup of lemon juice that you squeezed earlier, we're just gonna pour that in. There, that's really lovely. So let's get your lemon juice in. And we're gonna let that absorb. Oh, wow. That's also gonna deglaze your pan a little bit. All of that shrimp flavor is now all the way in to the rice. So just let this absorb a little bit. And we have our nice warm shrimp stock sitting right next to it, ready to go. So we're gonna grab a ladle. I just wanna make sure all of the liquid has been absorbed, all that lemon juice. Yep, okay. It's time to start ladling. So we're just gonna put a ladle or two in at a time, and you're gonna wait for that to absorb into the rice. And then when it has, then you add a little bit more. So this is a little bit of a process. We'll go through a few of the, the ladles, and then we'll just stop down and you guys can do your thing and I'll do my thing until we have about a cup left. So I'll show you what we're doing. One ladle. And this is why you want to keep your stock warm because you don't want it to cool down all this cooking process that's happening with your risotto. You don't want to wait for the liquid to heat up. It's going to immediately continue to cook your risotto. So now we just want this liquid to get fully absorbed. So we're just gonna stir it a little bit. And as you stir it, like I said, the arboreal rice, it releases all that starch. So that's, gonna, that's what's gonna make this nice and creamy. You want it on about a medium to medium high heat. You don't need it to boil, you just want it to simmer and for the liquid to absorb. This is just a process, you kinda, you know, when I do dishes like this, I kinda get all zen and it lets me just think of all the happy things in my life. You know, 
We don't want to think about the bad things. Let's think about the happy things. Let's think about we get to eat this when we're done. So you can just kind of play with your food, watch it absorb, watch the magic happen with cooking. I mean, that's the whole fun part. It's all magic. And then it nourishes us. I love cooking. So it looks like this is pretty much absorbed. See how that, see when you push that, you don't see too much liquid come out. It's just kind of getting starchier and starchier and creamier and creamier. It's time to add another ladle. Let's add another one. And now we'll just let this absorb into the rice. You don't want to leave it alone too much, only because you don't want it to burn. But I like this process. I like just stirring, listening to the dogs bark next door. <laughs> it's kind of zen. Cooking doesn't have to be stressful. It really doesn't. You can make it fun. I mean, yes, I know it can be stressful, trying to get dinner on the table for four kids or however many kids you have. Well, that's what my mom did, four kids. But you know what? It can also be really fun to watch the process and to be a part of it. See how it looks different? It's getting thicker. Even the liquid is getting thicker. You can see that. Trust the process. I think that's a good saying for life. Trust the process. Okay, it's almost time for another ladle. So I'm gonna continue to do this, and you're gonna continue to do that at home, the same thing. And when you get to about a cup left of your stock, come on back and we'll finish doing it together. Okay, press pause. Okay, how are you guys doing on your side? It should look nice and creamy. We have about one or two ladle fills left. So let's get that in to finish it off. Let it absorb. Okay, while this absorbs, we are going to zest a lemon because I want to really pump up that lemon flavor in here and zest up the lemon. Just do it right, right here. Again, when you zest, I know I seem like a broken record because I'm always saying, don't get the pith, because it is so bitter, and you really, the beautiful, lovely, oily outer skin is what gives you all that great flavor. So, so you just wanna enjoy all that flavor without it being bitter. Okay, almost done. Great, okay. And I have a little bit of arugula here and that's gonna really pump up the pepper flavor too. And I should give you some fresh greens in there and they're gonna wilt just a little bit in the risotto and it really adds a great texture, a great flavor. So you just want a little bit of arugula. And I really do want it in bite-sized pieces so we're gonna give it a rough chop. Let's see how this is doing. Give it another stir help it absorb the liquid. How's that heat doing? It really just is about patience. I mean, it looks like there's so much liquid, it's never gonna absorb. It does, just give it time. This is the thing I love about cooking. It just, it has taught me a lot of patience. And um, as my parents can attest, it's probably a really good thing. I have not known for my patience. So this has really been a good lesson. The more I cook, the more patient I get. Okay, you can see how it's thickening up and absorbing all that beautiful, luscious stock. I'll let you do some work while I chop up the arugula and you go ahead and chop it up too, really roughly. 
You know, even when I have arugula salad, I always give it a chop just because it's easier to eat. I just turn it around, chop it up again. Okay, so we have all our ingredients ready. We have our lemon zest, we have our arugula. Let's get our shrimp that's been resting back here and is perfectly done. I'm gonna take a look at the risotto again. Just needs a little bit more time to gather up and absorb. It's almost there, so, so, so close. Mm -mm -mm. Just want to get it a little heated up, but make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So I just keep moving it. You can always see the hot spots on your stove top. Just let it go. We just need a little bit more time. Not much. Oh boy. You can really smell the garlic and the lemon. It's so close to being there. You can kind of see when, when you push it through the pan as it comes back. We want it to come back just a little bit slower than that. Coming back a little bit too, for, <laughs> too fast. It's not there yet. Patience. And you really don't want to turn the heat up. You don't want to burn it. You really just have to let it, see how it's like bubbling and simmering right there? See the little bubbles? You just want to make sure it doesn't do that too long because you don't want it to burn and brown right under that. So wherever you see the bubbles, just give it a quick, little getting there it's almost like you're kind of looking for the consistency of oatmeal um, like a looser oatmeal it's sort of what you're going for and it's getting there it's getting there look see you can see now remember how quickly the seas parted and then they came back together. See how much more slowly they're coming back together? It's, it's so close. Don't stop now, it's so close. Usually by this time when I'm making risotto, this is where I start pumping the cheese in there and that thickens it up really quickly. But I don't want cheese in this. I want that bright lemony flavor and the arugula. You don't need cheese, it's creamy enough. So we just have to be patient with it thickening up. Okay. See that? Okay, just that little bit. Look. See how slow that? Okay, perfect. Let's get that shrimp in there. No, you know what? I want to get the arugula in first. So you might want to do that too. So it starts to wilt. Let's turn the heat off. Get the arugula in. Get that shrimp in. Get the shrimp in. Don't forget all those juices that are on the plate. That's flavor. Don't leave those behind. Mix that up. We still have our lemon zest. Let's get most of that in there. Look at how colorful that is. That's beautiful. Oh boy. Yes. This smells amazing and it's beautifully thick just how I want it that patience paid off okay let's plate it up hmm I think I will use this actually this ladle look at that mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, then little leftovers just to get a little bit more color. And that is gorgeous. And you just made risotto with me. Thank you for joining me.
Let's have a little bite, shall we? I mean, I want to scream from my rooftop how amazing this is. And you will too. You serve this with your family, an elegant book group. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Thank you for joining me. If you like this recipe, go ahead and bookmark it so you can find it again and make it again. I'm so glad you guys cooked with me. Please come back anytime. Bon appetit.